Hey guys, it's Javad, and I'm here in my speaker building wood shop, and I've been doing some kerfing. This is for a project I'm working on. This is some 18 mil Baltic birch that I kerfed to uh, over a 180 degree angle. So you can see this has been kerfed and it bends very nicely and smoothly. Um, you can see the, the kerf cuts showing through but I plan on veneering over this and uh, sanding it and veneering over it. So I don't think they'll be, they won't show up. Like they didn't show up on my Gintani's or uh, the Pretty Persuasions is minimal, but the veneer will do a good job covering it up. But anyways, I want to just do a quick demonstration of how strong this can be. This seems pretty flimsy and, and floppy. And if I wanted to break this, um, it's not glued right now, so I could break it pretty easily. Um, but, uh, I've done two glue ups here. So this is one. This is just glued lightly with some uh, type on two. So I just simply squeeze some in each kerf and then uh, let it dry. So there are gaps. So most of the bonding is done right along the edge here. And this is pretty much all open in here. So this is one. I just simply glued a little piece of plywood just to keep, uh, keep it from splitting open. And this is another bigger radius. So you can see this one's slightly smaller. This is about a four inch radius. This is more like five. And this I've glued with uh, tight bond polyurethane glue. So you can see it's, it's foamed and squeezed out. Um, so this, this glue has done a better job of filling the void. So inside there, I'm pretty confident that um, it's full of this foam glue but this isn't very strong I mean I can it's it's like really heavy duty styrofoam but I'm not sure how much how structural it is but um see I can break it off pretty easily glues aren't very strong on their own they're strong when they uh, absorb into the grain and bond that way so but anyways I have both of these they, they both just have this bottom piece So this one's about four inches wide and this one should be pretty strong. And it is, it's holding all of my weight, no problem. I weigh about 185 pounds. And uh, this, this one's narrower at about two and three quarter inches. You can hear some some uh, crunching and crumbling but that's just the glue but these are very strong um and you know for the purpose of building a speaker i mean they're way it's way more strong than it needs to be um now what i will do uh when i build the speaker is there will be bracing that, that goes along the inside of this so i will further tie these separate curve sections together with bracing um, so this thing will be literally indestructible and really the goal once the speaker cabinets assembled is that the curves are just along for the ride and the internal structure really supports uh, the outside of the cabinet. So it's not really doing very much work. So this is, this is a very strong method. It's very, it's a great way to do bends. And I think uh, there's some concerns out there that it's not strong enough. So. Um, and this isn't very scientific, but, uh, you know, 200 pounds right there at that point. Um, I did, I did glue up another one of these, uh, similar to this, and I jumped up and down on it a few times and it finally did break, but I almost killed myself. So I didn't want to do that on cameras, but I don't know if I almost cut my hand off on the panel saw. So anyways, um, curse, uh, I'm going to be posting more about this project. Um, and the, the cabinet will actually be made up of two of these, sort of like this, but they'll both be the same size and the, the speaker will be this shape uh, from looking at it from the front. So, um, and actually this is the project that Andrew Jones and I are working on together featuring uh, some Tang Band drivers. So stay tuned.